yo what is good everyone and thank you so much for stopping by the channel for today's video i wanted to feature a pair of sneakers affordable sneakers that i believe is worth adding to your wardrobe now amidst all the hype and trending footwear featured here on the channel I definitely considered it uh, kind of back and forth to go ahead and make this video happen simply due to the fact that I don't think that this video will do or perform very well. However, in that very same light, I feel like it would be a total disservice to you to not go ahead and make this video happen just because these sneakers here have been a heavy heavy part of my sneaker rotation now i wouldn't necessarily call them my every day but i would definitely go as far as to say that they are my almost every day yo what is good guys and pardon the interruption just before we go any further in today's video and i expound a little bit more on these almost everyday sneakers i did want to give a special thank you and shout out to today's sponsor keeps now if you didn't already know two out of every three men will experience a noticeable amount of hair loss by the age of 35 which is a majority of us the keep system is designed to prevent and in some cases reverse the effects of male pattern baldness now this isn't another baseless claim in a sponsored ad because i am a legitimate customer and i can confidently say that keeps works as a matter of fact a link below is my full testimonial video of my hair loss journey and how i use keeps to recover it when it comes to hair loss reversing it is very rare so prevention is key hit the link at the top of the description to visit the keep site and to get a full rundown including keeps best offer available they appreciated that testimonial video that i kind of hinted at so it's a product of that they are giving us the best promotional offer thank you once again to keeps for making this video possible and now without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into the sneakers at hand. Now, if you have been following me on Instagram, on my stories, or even on my posts, then you probably already know, um, I've been really, really wearing a lot of Adidas classics, namely the Sambas and the Gazelles. Now, there is a few reasons for this, but the main reason being predominantly based on the fact that I'm seeing ones fours and dunks literally everywhere i go and truth be told i've kind of grown a little bit stale to them at least just for right now i mean living out here in southern california will quickly notice that a lot of dudes wear these shoes and they leave their house with like this like i'm different a uh, personality when in retrospect we're pretty much all dressing the same so from time to time it's kind of nice to just switch things up and i've really leaned into into this more sleekly shaped adidas silhouette with baggier bottoms and it's just something i thought i would share with you but yeah as i've already mentioned i don't anticipate this doing very well however i do have a stronger conviction inside of me that wants to share with you guys what i'm actually wearing so with that uh, these are the adidas gazelle indoors originally first introduced in 1966 adidas gazelle made itself a household name through being on the feet of household names this timeless sneaker has been seen on the feet but not limited to the likes of oasis kate moss and a young michael jackson hitting peaks and valleys the adidas gazelle has remained a constant source of footwear for generations why the gazelle now i believe that it's due to the heavy pr on the part of adidas to go ahead and make this shoe the predecessor to the classic and timeless stan smith this is an excellent sneaker that can serve as a bit of a filler shoe to go ahead and keep up with today's latest trends um, now that baggy bottoms are heavily heavily leaned into it makes perfect sense why adidas decided to go with the adidas gazelle as a matter of fact adidas believes in the silhouette so much that adidas is now preparing to drop their second release of their highly successful collaboration with gucci all centered around a special sneaker that is none other than the adidas gazelle which does lead us to the adidas gazelle indoor or the sneaker that we have here 
Gucci's Italian iteration of the Gazelle is priced at a whopping $850. And that's if you're able to get them for retail because they sell out very quickly. I've been on the hunt for the OG burgundy pair or green. And I have a person that works at Gucci that cannot get my size in that shoe. Not to allow any finances to be unaccounted for, Adidas made a redrop of the Adidas Gazelle indoor available. Think of the indoor variation as an elevated take on the standard Gazelle with a higher price tag, but not as high as the Gucci collab. The Adidas Gazelle is now offered in Bluebird, Core Black, and Scarlet Red with more colors to come. I personally ended up picking up Bluebird and Core Black as you can see but I definitely considered picking up Scarlet as a simple lace swap from Amazon could make these a really good alternative to the very difficult to find Wales Bonner Samba. This specific Gazelle iteration, the Indoor, is a revival of a sneaker originally released in 1979. And with this pair, just like you got on the first release, you get a special box, impressively soft to the touch suede, a translucent gum sole unit, tonal embossed leather tongue and soft leather ankle lining. Compared to the standard pair, you'll see a significant jump up in terms of quality at a price point that isn't too bad as the MSRP on these shoes is 150 bucks, a slight markup from the standard gazelles. As for sizing, I do recommend going true to size. For me personally, I range anywhere from an eight and a half to a nine, a nine predominantly in Adidas. These are a nine and they fit perfectly all right guys so what is the final verdict on the adidas gazelle indoor are they a sneaker that you could see yourself adding to your rotation are they a potential good alternative to the very expensive and hard to find gucci collab or am I just over hyping a rather simple sneaker? I definitely love to hear what you have to say in the comment section down below. And of course, if you did enjoy today's video, please be sure to communicate that to me by liking today's video and subscribing to the channel with notifications on. As you know, this is not exactly a hyped pair of sneakers. So for those of you who clicked on today's video, your feedback would help more than you know. But with that, that's gonna do it for today's video as always i thank you guys so much for the continued support i do consider it an immense privilege to serve you through making content and i genuinely will never take it for granted until next time i'll catch you in the next upload peace and be blessed